All right, people, we got some things to talk about today. I wasn't even planning on making a video today. In fact, I already posted this morning, but Framer went ahead and launched their new AI tool called Start With AI. And I've been messing around with this thing all day. In this video, I'm gonna break down what it does, what this means for you as a designer. Um, this is the start of a lot of big tools like this that are going to completely change the landscape of our whole industry as designers. And I think this is a really good start. I've made some videos here over the past months about AI, what it's lacking in terms of design. And up to this point, all these design tools have just given you like design ideas and inspiration. But now Framer's rolling out tools like this. Um, I know Webflow has announced their AI tool. It's going to take a lot of the work out of it. And it's all just gonna be automated by artificial intelligence, which for better or for worse, it's here. So let's talk about this tool. Um, they posted a really great video on YouTube that breaks down everything that this thing does. But I think the most important part to take away from this is the name of the tool, which is Start With AI. And I think all of us are so worried about these tools that are going to design with AI. And there's no question that this tool and all the others out there, they are still not to the point where they're just gonna do everything. They're just gonna design everything and have a website designed, developed, ready to launch. But this idea of starting with AI tells me that this is to our benefit as designers because we're going to be able to get the project underway, we're gonna get content out there, we're gonna get layouts out there faster, so then we can dive in and do what we do best, which is customize things, make them look really great, and get them ready for launch. So, with all that said, let's dive into this one minute video, give this thing a watch, and then we're gonna show you what the tool can do. I love that, AI generated, human curated. You are the curator. All right, so a few things that this video mentioned that are really important. You are still the curator. You are still the art director. You as the designer, your expertise is still needed, but this tool is going to save you so much time. And again, I still believe that we are a long way off from clients wanting to dive in and use these types of tools. And if they do, they're gonna end up with websites that just aren't finalized, right? They're not really buttoned down to a final product. And so that's where we come in. That's where they're gonna need us. And I still think that we can charge the same rates and use a tool like this, and it's just going to shorten our processes. So with all that said, let's dive in and show you how this thing works. So again, the first thing you're gonna see when you open up um, a brand new site in Framer is start with AI, right? So you go ahead and click this, and it's just going to ask you for your prompts. Now, I made other videos in the past about prompts, there are a lot of things that you need to consider when coming up with a prompt, right? You want to tell them what type of website it is, what the company or business does, what style you want. Um, a lot of times you're going to want to tell it what colors and fonts and things, but Framer's actually going to allow you to switch those things with the click of a few buttons. So for this example, what we are going to do is here in my city, there is a concert series by the river. So let's just type in a web page for a Riverside concert series where there will be several different bands playing. And let's go ahead and have it be rock and country bands. And then this will be held 
at the Snake River in Idaho Falls, Idaho. All right, so let's just see what it comes up with to start my website for this Riverwalk concert series. Now, at the bottom, it's going to show you that this thing is thinking, and it's going to pop up the results right here in front of you as AI creates them. Now, along the way, what you're going to be able to do is change things like the colors and the fonts, and it's going to change this thing live as you're watching it be built, which is really cool. Um, so let's just click through and see which of these I feel like matches our Riverside vibe. Um, man, I don't know. A lot of different options. Let's go with this. I kind of like the white space. We've got concert stuff pulling up. Um, fonts, we can change fonts as well to find something that really matches what we're looking for. I kind of want something playful, right? Something summery, maybe bubbly. Yeah, I don't mind that, honestly. It's a little bit childish, playful. It's kind of fun. Um, and then you can also change the body copy or the body fonts. So let's just change it to something fairly conservative like this. All right, so you can see that it's plugging in a bunch of images as well. It's creating an FAQ section. You've got a call to action section. It's going to generate the footer down here. And again, this is giving you such a good start. Now, there are times where it's not going to generate exactly what you want it to. And in that case, you can regenerate um, to, to get a completely new layout. But the nice part about this is, is even if this only gets you 25% of the way done, that's 25% of the project, the layout, the design that you don't have to worry about, right? And in some cases, especially if you have clients that are less picky about what they want and they just say, hey, I'm going to cut you loose and you design what you think is best. When you have full freedom, this could literally get 80% of the project done for you. Now, what it showed in the video is you can click on individual sections and you can click the AI button right here and you can rework these individual sections, which makes it really nice. You don't have to redo the whole site to make updates on individual sections. So let's come down here and maybe let's try to rework this section to give it like a darker background, which is perfect. Um, I'm liking the images. So now with the fonts as, or not with the fonts, with the text as well, you're gonna be able to ask AI to rewrite these if needed. So it says, epic concert series along the magnificent Snake River. Uh, the subtext says, get ready for an unforgettable experience. Top rock and country bands will be rocking the Riverside all summer long at the Snake River. Honestly, that's pretty good. Uh, but let's show you how it reworks this. You go ahead and click that, and it's going to rewrite this for you. Now, whether this ends up being your final copy or where I see this being really beneficial is when you have those clients that don't necessarily know what they want to say in their website, this is going to give them a really great start. And then you can pass it off to them and say, we've already got content in there. You can update this if you would like, but this way it's not going to delay the site launch, which is a huge benefit for you as a freelancer. Now coming down here, we've got all of the images. You can also rework these. Uh, I guess this just reworks the background. I guess you can't rework the images, which is fine. Um, so let's keep that white, and then you've got your call to action section. I would probably change this to a black. So um, now the nice part about this, again, is you're just getting started with AI. So this website is fully customizable still. So you've got all of the elements the same way that they are laid out and created in Framer. And so you're going to be able to move things around, right? Like you can make all these different adjustments. You can change the text. Got questions now food and beverages, you can change like any of that. You can remove or add links. Like all the customizations that you have in Framer or any other platform like this, you're gonna be able to make those. Now, the other huge benefit is this is fully responsive. So we have our tablet and our phone viewports here, and you're gonna be able to see exactly what those look like. Again, you're gonna go through and wanna add uh, calls to action, different things like that, changing the, the photos and images, uh, add videos or whatever else you might need. But man, it's crazy how much you can get done with this AI tool. Now, again, you're going to be able to, to customize your prompt. You can go back and, and improve your prompt, make it more detailed. But overall, this tool is really, really great. Now, if you watch other of my videos, you know that I'm a Webflow guy and I'm really excited for Webflow's AI tool, but I'm not 
so stubborn that I can't look at this and say, this is an awesome tool and I'm excited to mess around with this a little bit more and see how this could potentially help my freelance business and my, my design agency. So um, let me know what you think about this new AI update by Framer down below. Are you guys using Framer? Are you still using Webflow? Are you still using WordPress? And if so, how are your grandkids? Um, let me know where you're at with things. And if you haven't yet, like and subscribe. We've got new videos like this coming out every single week. So thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.